Thank you for purchasing a Stay Sick, helping us share the love of riding. In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to remove the motor and drivetrain from an 18E drive or 20E drive. We're gonna be doing the work here on a 20E, but ultimately it's the same process and tools if you're working on an 18. First step, you need to remove the battery. You're gonna to wanna to locate the six side panel screws on the left side of the Stasic. You leave the bottom two close to the footrest in place for now. We'll come back to that in a later step. So taking a slim Phillips head screwdriver, remove the six screws. Now, moving to the right side of the bike, you're gonna locate three Phillips head screws, two holding on the right side cover, and one on the chain guard. You're gonna remove those with the same Phillips head screwdriver that you use on the left side. After the three Phillips head screws are removed, going to remove the right side cover. And this is a good time to pause and take note of where all the wires are run and how things are situated inside so that on reassembly you know how things go and they can go right back in their place. Next, we're removing the front sprocket using a four millimeter Allen wrench. If it's the first time removing it, it does help to apply some heat to loosen up the thread locker that's applied from the factory. With the bolt and washer removed, you can slide the front sprocket and cush drive off the shaft. Note that inside the cush drive, there's two small elastomers. You need to make sure those stay in place and you don't lose those when you remove it. Once the sprocket's off the shaft, you can feed the chain off of it and set it to the side. Moving to the left side of the bike, you're gonna use the slim Phillips head screwdriver to remove those bottom two side panel screws that we left in place earlier. Once those two are out of place, you'll be able to remove the left side cover from the bike. Moving back to the right side of the Stasic, now it's time to use a four millimeter Allen wrench to remove the two mounting bolts for the gearbox. I usually start with the top one, and then move to the lower one. Note the lower one has a washer on it for reassembly. You have to make sure that one goes back in the, the lower position. Still on the right side, using a Phillips head screwdriver, you're gonna remove the mounting screw for the footrest. Moving back to the left side of the bike, using a four millimeter Allen wrench, you're gonna remove the two mounting bolts. And note that these two are a little bit longer than the two previously removed from the right side of the bike. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to remove the footrest mounting screw on the left side here, and then you'll be able to remove the footrest out the front of the bike. Next, we're going to remove the footrest. If you lift up a little bit on the back, you should be able to then slide the footrest down and out of the front. Next, we're gonna disconnect these two connectors, the black one and the yellow one. The black one has a little release you press to spread it apart. Moving to the yellow one. Make sure when you're releasing these, you don't pull on the wires. You grab firmly on the plastic pieces to pull them apart so the wires don't get removed from the connectors. At this point, you can just lay the ESC off to the side here so we can access the motor a little bit easier. Now it's time to remove the motor and gearbox from the frame. You'll be able to slide it right out the front here. At this point, if you're removing the gearbox for service, you use a three millimeter Allen wrench to remove these four bolts, which will remove the gearbox from the motor assembly. For reassembly, follow the instructions in the reverse order, making sure that all the wires and connections are free and routed the same way that you found them. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions after watching the video, visit stacy.com for more tech support.